Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Beholder. The last time that we were here, my son got expelled from college because I couldn't pay them a bazillion dollars, and then I got impeached or arrested or something for embezzling because I couldn't pay them a bazillion dollars. So let's see if I can't do a little bit better this time around. Oh, 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 we're, we're in, we're in, it started, it started, okay. So what have I got going on here? <clears throat> Bring her an apple, repair everything that's broken in the house, and money and money, good. So I need just a, a shit ton of money. And there's absolutely no way I can do this, I'm pretty sure. Keeping and usage of foreign medicines is prohibited. Good, wonderful. All right. So let's see, what have I got in my bag right now? Nothing. Do I have anything in my stuff that I could use to repair things? No. Gotta repair that thing. Hey, hey Patrick! Hi, Dad. Can you help me? You know I don't want to be a miner. I can't. I'm sorry. Unfortunately, also your sister's dying, in case you forgot. You're so cruel, Father. You saw what those mines do to people. L listen, kiddo. Like, daughter dying, etc., etc. Literally cannot help. What can I get in the shop that's that's useful? All right, looks like we're gonna be screwed no matter what. Oh god! Move some people in. Send you in. Yes, beautiful. Move some more people in? Nope, no good. Alright, well, got a new person coming in, at least, that's nice. Uh, I don't have enough money to repair everything. God damn. Why don't you go here? It is legal to possess and use weapons. Good to know. Alright, well, let's go up here. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. You, guy. Go, run faster. Hi there, guy. Trade. Let's see if I've got. Ah, oh, yes, I can sell these for 500. That's nice to know. Okay, so I've sold all of those. I've got $2,000, and I need an apple. No, you've got them. Buy one of those. Okay, that's taken care of. Now I can go give this to my wife. Oh, fucking run faster, asshole. Wife, wife! Damn it, wife! I'm trying to. Uh. Okay, um, let's see. It's the TV that needs fixed, so that's gonna be. A, an electronics kit, so two electronics kits. One, two. Let's repair this thing. Come on, come on, do the thing. Repair it. And... Bam! Repaired. Now repair this thing. God, I don't got the money for these bills. Wife, you need to get the fuck up so that I can give you money. Don't remember how much you need, but no, guy, come back. Uh, if I don't click on you, then okay, okay. I need to repair that furniture in a little bit more. My compliments! So, I have to buy a couple more of these. Probably that much. And then, from you, I will sell them to you. Two, three. Hopefully that will give me enough money to buy anything. 
Hopefully my wife will get up in time. Hello, Dora Noel. First, uh, hello, I'm the landlord. Dora, nice to meet you. Let me know if you need anything. Of course. Hmm. Um, so where did you used to live? Mm, who cares where I came from? All that matters is that I'm here now. You look so fundamentally sad. I like it here, she says, looking fundamentally sad. It's less crowded than the capital, and everyone has a job. Do you like it here? Sure. Why not? We have a lot in common. What's new? I have nothing to tell you. I don't know anybody here. I got a cold on my first day here. Goodbye! Alright. Wife, are you fucking awake yet? Goddamn! We don't have time for this, wife! Yes! Okay. Wife, go. I have to give you money because otherwise we'll get, like, impeached or something. Talk to me, wife! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Money for the bills. $700. Give it. Done. There we go. Fixed. Done. Okay. Now we're okay with that. Now all I have to do is repair some furniture, and I also have to give her the apple. Apple, apple, apple. Give the apple. Did you get an apple? Yes, I did! That's a big one enough to last a week? Jesus, how big of an apple is it? Okay, doing okay there. Now I need to go up and fix this door. Like, and fast. Come on, hurry up. Knock, knock. Knock, knock, guys! Better hurry up, old lady. I've only got eight hours to fix your stupid thing. Also, I should buy a repair kit for it. Done. And then, hello, how are you, furniture repair? I gotta fix your stuff. Come on, fix your thing. Doodly doodly do. And. Alright. What have I got? Ah. Good. I guess. Neat. I don't remember having done that, but it's been a long time since I've played this. Affordable apartments. Huh? Lease any apartment. Do I have anyone who's willing to move in? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. More people coming in. Let's take a look at the mailbox. Blip says, om nom nom nom. Several hours ago, a series of explosions took place at the convenience goods storage factory on Crushvice Street. No one was killed, but 15 people were injured. The situation is under control, so there's no reason to panic. Now for the weather. Tomorrow, look for winds from the north, a high of 60 degrees and light showers. Comrades, we have spoken and spoken loud. The whole city hurt. Yeah, you blew up part of my house, you assholes. The explosions took place at the plant where state officials were planning to introduce 14-hour shifts. The government won't listen to our peaceful voices, so let it hear our cries of war. We will force them to respect the rights of workers. If they continue with their plans, we'll turn the ministry to rubble. Fantastic. Glad that happened. What's the new rule? Talk of war is prohibited. Okay. Good. Well, I haven't got any quests right now. That's nice. Oh, it's because I loaded far enough back that my son hasn't needed the $12,000 or whatever it is yet. What do you need, Anna? It's very cold in here. We need a heater. Martha's feeder is cold as ice. We live in that cold basement like rats. Yes, yes, yes. I'll buy you a heater. The next time Top Hat Guy comes around, I'll buy us a heater. Done. In the meantime... Let's see if anyone is home up here. Go, 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 go. Doopity, look through the hole. She is home. Knock on her door. Tap on her window, knock on her door. She 
probably repair that apartment. Hello, Dora. Oh, I guess you haven't really got anything. Does anybody have anything for me? Nothing? Nothing? Nothing, Tralala? -la? I should talk to the new guy. Hello, I'm Carl the Landlord. Full, full, full Brukich, a student at the university. It's nice to meet you. Hm. My father picked this silly name. Mom calls me Full. I don't like that either. Sure. It means fulfill the legacy of our dear leader. Every time I tell my father about my name, he laughs and says it could be worse. Worse? He likes telling the same story, which he finds amusing over and over. Once, one, one a woman, one a woman, once, a woman went to the king of a neighboring country and asked him to change her last name because of how horrible it sounded. Her last name was Seven Butts. The king giggled, fulfilled her request, and said, five will be enough. I must admit the story. That's actually quite a fun story, though. My father says it's better to fulfill the legacies of the dear leader in our great state than to make friends with five butt faces in a neighboring country. I mean, you don't have to answer each time you're asked what your weird name means. You don't hear, your father is not only a joker, but a patriot every day. Hey, hey, no, wait. Good, yes, okay, now here's the bit where I have to get a little bit more money in order to make sure that I don't get, like, ah, balls! It happened right off the bat, didn't it? Son of a... Well... Uh, I'm arrested for embezzlement again. Good, 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 good. Wonderful. The entire neighborhood came to see oh. Carl dragged into the police car. His face was covered with blood, and his pants had a hole where his building keys had been, as the police had torn them out with a fabric. Christ. To the bitter end of their short life, Carl wondered what happened to his family? Jesus. No one from Carl Stein's family was destined to leave to the end of the year. Oh god. I didn't get that animatic last time. Christ, okay. Let's try again. Let's see if we can't uh, make something a little bit better here. See, this is what I'm talking about. This game is realistic. It tells you how much school is going to cost you, and it also tells you immediately that you'll never be able to pay for it. Anna asked me to bring a heater home. Alright, well, uh, once Top Hat Guy comes back around again, we'll do that. In the meantime, though, I don't know if I have enough stuff here to... All right, well, let's go talk to Full Fleetle again. Meet him, <clears throat> Carl the Landlord, ask about the name, Loggity blue goody blue do that, it's worth it. Yeah, 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 I getcha. We've done this bit already. Talk to him again. Wait for the people to come out. Come on. Come on. Hello, Loisius. How are things? Talk about Martha's health. Thank you for helping us acquire the medicine. Uh, children are the colors of the nation, and we only have two colors today, black and white. Ha! Ha ha ha! It's because everyone is black and white, isn't it? Ha 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 ha. Ha. Aloysius, Aloysius, talk to me. Hello. Talk about Sarah. Ah. Oh. We've already done that. Okay, well, we can actually pay this for once. Bang. Now I have no money, of course, because assholes. So let's go talk to Patrick, see how much he hates me for being a shit father, for not being able to have enough money to pay for things. Yes, father. What happened? I was suspended and sent to work at the mine. A mine. I don't want to be a miner, father. Don't worry about it, kiddo. You'll be fine. I hadn't thought of that, but I have to survive that year somehow. Yeah, you'll you'll probably be fine, though. 
Okay, Dad, I'll do my best. Top hat guy, are you coming around? Hello, Dora. Nothing good there. How fulfilled. Talk about the university. His specialty is chemistry. Ooh. We chop up different frogs and mix some shit in flasks until it bubbles and smokes. I see you don't find what you're studying to be inspiring. I just don't understand how chopped up frogs can help me to become a person who can make the world a better place. Fair enough. I probably what I should be doing now is like making reports on like profiles of people and that sort of thing. New message received, huh? Well, let's go take a look at it. You, 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 you. Blip says, who are you? Geogs Vizdek, Leo Vizdek is the annual labor lottery, served this country for 20 years without a single violation. He is the pride of the states. The prize this year is $100,000. Every citizen with more than 15 years of work experience can take part in the lottery. People with more than 15 years of work experience can take part in the lottery. What does that tell us? That Leo and his companions in misfortune spent decades, well really only a decade and a half, working hard and paying crazy amounts of money to the labor lottery fund. Each of them could have saved $40,000 over the course of 20 years. Where did the rest of that money go? Can the lottery administration tell us that?